You know, when I say that I go to a private prep school, many people assume that I learn in the lap of luxury, that I am a brilliant student surrounded by brilliant peers, and that my school grounds could double as a result. But I am here to tell you, not so. Except for the brilliant part, because I am brilliant, that is. This is what people imagine when they hear private school. Good morning, class! It's The mathematical equation I've been working on for weeks for you. How wonderful! You get an extra piece of pie! Ah! But this is what really happens. Enough! Get out your books, it is time for a quiz. Oh. I need you to think and use prior knowledge. No. Come on, y'all can do this. You just have to try. No. So what number should we start with? Two, sixteen. No. A million five. No. Five million. Think. I need you to think. But I can't. No. Start. Remember, we're grabbing intelligently. Okay. We're not intelligent. Well, that was algebra. I present to you chemistry. Now, don't get me wrong. I know plenty of other students that go to private schools who are complete wizards in the lab. Well, the fire department came and tried to clean out the noxious odors, but let me tell you, they did not succeed. They ordered us to vacate the building, but, you know, the show must go on, and we were just told to move on to our next class, English. After English, there's lunch. Give me your lunch, honey. You don't even have a cafeteria. Oh my god, break it up! Whatever, oh, what man. the heck? <laughs> Jerk! Another idea that people have of private schools is that they have awesome teachers. But I can't argue with that. It's true. So class, I've reduced the amount of reading <laughs> from 75 pages to 65 pages. So one thing about private school stereotypes is that they don't always ring true. But the good thing about this school is that we have a great collection of students and teachers to help and encourage us with our classes.